This is use of the LMA, uh, and this is being done for the MICU airway course. Let's talk a little bit about the, the LMA. The LMA is a way to assist you in ventilating, keeping in mind it is not a completely secured airway. Particularly in the ICU, if you're securing a, an airway, you tend to be securing it for, for a long time. This person has pneumonia. It's not like they're going to be better in 10 minutes or they have CHF or they have some other chronic condition. And you really want to do the definitive airway thing, which is intubate them and protect that airway. So keep in mind, the LMA in the setting of the ICU is a temporary, is a temporizing measure. So let's see how this thing works. You slide it in. It, it, I won't say it's foolproof, but it's certainly fool resistant. You can slide it in. You just slide it in until it stops. Now, I have seen people partially inflate it. I've seen people put it in sideways and turn it. I've seen people put it in backwards and turn it. I mean, everything but standing on your head and singing the Georgia fight song in three-part harmony. But the bottom line is if you just slide it in like so, it tends to go in. Once it's in there, you inflate it. Do you see how it came up a little bit? I'm going to show you that again. When you inflate it, it tends to kind of kick up a little bit. And I'm going to show you on the larynx exactly where it's fitting. It fits right here. It fits right like this. Okay, there are your cords. It fits right like this. And when I inflate it, it forms a less than perfect seal around here. And you're basically mask ventilating, but just farther down. When would you use the LMA? Again, in the ICU, you're really only going to use it for a temporizing measure. You're having a hard time masking. You had a hard time intubating. Uh, he's desaturating, and things are, are, are not really heading your way. And then you say, OK, since intubation is not working for me, I need to mask, but I need to mask better. That's where the LMA comes in handy. Intriguingly, the very person who is hard to intubate, because their airway is so tight, usually the LMA fits in there nice and snugly. Now, once you put the LMA in, then again, you basically have a way to mask ventilate. Since you're looking for the more definitive thing, you can do a fiber optic through this. This will be discussed in the section on fiber optic. Um, you can pass an endotracheal tube blindly through an intubating LMA, and I'll show you how that's different. This is an intubating LMA versus this is a regular LMA. An intubating LMA, you put in like this, and then you turn it like that. So you can, you can kind of imagine how it would be sitting there. And the intubating LMA, I can tell you, it's a little bit harder to put in. It's a little bit more, a little bit more klutzy when you put that thing in. Let's see how that goes. OK, I'm going to put this thing in, and then I'm going to go like that. Okay. And then through this, I can pass an endotracheal to or a fiber optic. So, so in the ICU realm, you may go a long time not using an LMA, but you want to always make sure that it's part of your equation. If you're not able to get enough oxygen in someone and you're not quite able to intubate them, or maybe the intubating stuff isn't there, or you need to buy time until the fiber optic or someone else comes up, definitely think about using an LMA.